75D on a non-link dyno. I have no idea what's going to happen. See the flat spots in the tire from the sitting? Doing it. Wow, it regens quick. That's on low, too. Yeah. You see the front and rear rollers are spinning at different speeds. Yeah, that thing wants to take off. Six horsepower, 423 foot pounds of torque. That's actually pretty, uh, sounds pretty decent. And that actually looks like it's supposed to look. Flat horsepower with peak torque. Yeah, I dig it. 2075, 2017-75D, take two, non-link dyno. And we have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Seems like it's sending power to the front motor first. Dead consistent on the horsepower. 386 on the first run, 384 on the second run. Yeah. Looks like it peaked about 400 and. Looks like it peaked almost 500 foot pounds. Yeah, 493 foot pounds of torque. So it made more torque that round. 2017 75D, take three. Manny the Chameleon Tuning. But yeah, it's definitely powering the front wheels first.
So we have our Chameleon Tuning DinoJet Research Dinograph here. As you can see, this is the one we chose um, with the gearing we had selected. Uh, I've got to do a little more math because I think my calculations are wrong on this one. But uh, we have uh, a different gear ratio front to back. So we've got to got to kind of play around and find the uh, the happy medium between the front and rear motors uh, with the different gear ratios and whatnot because it is a non-link dyno um, but as you can see this one we've got uh, 386 horsepower at 7500 rpms and uh, we got 423 foot-pounds of torque all the way back here at 2900 so um, we did get a little tire spin on this one, so take it with a grain of salt. This is not the most accurate, but um, this was purely for testing a dual motor Model S on a non-link dyno because we had no idea what was going to happen. And for a nice little experiment, it actually worked out pretty good. So power was dead consistent, 385, 384, and 386 horsepower each time. So working pretty good pretty happy with it don't forget to come down to our uh, dyno day august 5th let's run all the cars we can